Hey guys, it's Nitin here with the Ultimate Book Editor and uh, Ultimate Ebook Creator. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to allow um, any application um, to be uh, executable within your system. So, this is specifically for Windows 10, and I think many people have issues with Windows 10 running either the Ultimate Ebook Creator or the Ultimate Book Editor. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go um, to your search and just type in Windows Defender like this. And then you should see this option come up, Windows Defender Firewall. Click that. And then you need to click on this, allow an app or feature through Defender Firewall. Click on that. And then click on Change Settings. And then this will allow us to add another app down here so if you don't click this this will be disabled okay so click that and then this becomes enabled click uh, allow another app you click on that and then there's nothing here right now so we're gonna go browse and then we're gonna go to the c drive now if you've installed the 32-bit or 64-bit um, it will and it will appear in these two so for 32-bit go to the program files x86 open this go all the way down until you see extreme logic inc double click that and then you see ultimate book editor double click that and then select the exe and then click open and then you can click on add but um, click on add so it adds it there and then you can do again you can click on that add go to browse um, and then if you um, this is the 32 bit so if you've got the other one um i'll just go to the 64 bit so you go into program files you go all the way down to extreme logic again um, you should see a folder called extreme logic i'm using the 32 bit version but the process is the same you should see extreme logic there in there you see your ultimate book editor select the exe and then click on add and then you're done okay and then and then you should see it down here. So you will either have the 32-bit or the 64-bit, and then you can say public here, and um, it's fine. And then you can click OK, and um, close this down. And now if you start your Ultimate Book Editor, it should basically um, work. Um, so once I've typed my information in, I'll click activate and it's activated click OK and now we're good to go okay it's gonna show up all right and this is my editor okay so I hope you found this video useful remember I think the 32-bit version is okay on most people system but if you're trying to run the 64-bit um, you may have some issues and that's probably because the Windows Defender is blocking this 64-bit app all right, so um, if you have any more issues, just um, send me an email and um, I'll see if I can help you out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.